guys, I'm Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Look, we are doing my last simple Thanksgiving design sketch out today. So I'm super glad to bring you guys along with me. Let's jump right into it. Happy Sunday. Good morning, friends. How is everybody doing on this chilly Sunday morning? It is a chilly, cold 43 degrees this morning. So I got my fleece pants on. Um, I got my sweater over there. Like I'm all ready to walk around in the house in my little sweater and, and make me some coffee this morning. So I hope everybody is having an amazing morning so far. So look, today's project is just going to be a simple project today. Um, I literally actually had um, more to add to today's craft video, but it's going to be pretty simple because I'm short on time we all know this is thanksgiving week so i have to go grocery shopping today to get all of my ingredients i don't want to actually shop the next few days so i want to get everything today um and of course it's football sunday and hallmark sunday because in my house i go between football and the hallmark channel and then the baby has the other two tvs in the house so with her cartoons and stuff and she runs back and forth between everything so my sundays are just pretty much busy and plus um most of the time I already have my craft video done so um I didn't get a chance to get to it this week it's really been kind of hectic so I will have to stitch out my craft design today and um go over my design and in brilliance to make sure everything is perfect so i'm a little bit running short this morning and then you know i watch church online i actually started back to watching church online so it's going to be a busy sunday so guys i also one of my tasks this week was to put out i have about 11 designs that I need to add to my store. I know I'm not the only small business owner who creates stuff and then does not get a chance to add them. Yes, I am guilty of that. It happens when you run multiple, when you have multiple things going on in your life, you know? So for those of you guys who've been following me, I work full time and I run a small business and I sell Avon and I'm a full-time mom, you know, so um, it gets pretty hectic around here sometimes. So I am excited to share with you this week's design. If I got it correctly, I downloaded some designs off of Etsy. So this one's like a turkey. So it's going to be a embroidery sketch out, which I'm starting to love the sketch out designs. So, um... I have a couple of Christmas designs and um, I wanted to I want to ask you guys a questions where do you guys get your beanie hats because I thought about doing some holiday beanie hats for thanks for, I mean sorry for Christmas and um, I, I want to know where, where if you guys know a good you know store vendor or whatnot that I could do um beanies you know that would be great with a little pom-pom or if some of them don't have the little pom-pom I have been seeing them flying around TikTok and I just knew I, I just love TikTok TikTok is like the hub of like crafters outside of YouTube like I just love watching people create and and do things and of course here I am I can do that if I could do that was a person it would be me because for those who have been following me you guys have seen me say this in my videos before you know how I'm always trying to create something I am when I see something I'm like oh my god I can do that <laughs> so if you guys know <clears throat> excuse me a good place where to get beanie hats comment below and let me know um of a good place 
Um, I'm going to kind of do some research because I would love to make like, you know, Christmas beanie hats or, you know, get beanie hats and put like a Christmas design on the front. I've seen a lot of folks doing them and I think it's awesome. So, hey, why not jump on board, right? There is room for everybody because everybody's crafts, designs and ideas, although they may be alike, they are also different. Remember that, you know, um, they're also different. So. I don't want to go down that road. So that's a whole nother topic. <clears throat> and uh, I don't want to get off topic here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys along with me so I can. Um... And you know what? I haven't quite. Well, let me let me take that back. Um, I haven't taken the extra time to figure out how to screen record on my laptop. What I have? I think I have a. I believe I have a Dell. I believe my, no. Or is it an HP? It's just, it's a shame because I have my work laptop and my personal laptop. So, um, I, I can't remember, but I want to say, I think my personal laptop is actually the HP. I can't remember. So I'm going to look it up because I've looked it up before to screen record. I think it'd be easier to do it. I have a camera on my laptop to do the screen recording. So I think I might just set my phone up, my phone, my phone up and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing on Brilliance to get my design ready to um, be saved on the USB uh, drive and then upload it into uh, my PE 800, my brother's embroidery machine. So I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run down like what I do. Like get up there, change the colors, and print it out so I have an idea. And then I get ready to take it to the machine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head on to the next step.
how did you guys like my process through in brilliance right so that wasn't too bad it's really basic um i really didn't make any huge changes or anything like that i just kind of just changed the color pad pattern and i also like to go through the um simulator if i'm saying that correctly just to kind of see what um what step happened first and all that kind of stuff and I like to write down how many colors I'm gonna have I do know that a lot of times it will say you have like 16 you know um, 16 stitch outs or whatever um, I'm sorry not stitch outs like 16 color changes or whatever but I kind of like to minimize it if I can and then I write that down on my paper so it's kind of like a way to kind of get organized so once I get to the machine I know it's gonna run smoothly I have all my colors set up because you know it's a one needle machine so I line up the colors in the front and everything so everything's ready to go and then like having the printout is like an extra step like boom like okay we're ready to go and so then I can also use that printout um, for your future designs and that will also help me to place colors um, like if a, if a customer wants to change a color it will be easy for me to go ahead and just jot that down and um, you know keep it moving so did you guys like my design it came out nice didn't it I know I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again I really love these sketch embroidery designs I think they are so dope right so I am so glad you guys came along with me in this week's crafts video I know it was really kind of simple and didn't have too much going on but I'm glad you guys came along for the ride so I appreciate you guys for rocking with me each and every single week I really do I appreciate you guys so comment below let me know what you guys are working on are you yelling at your project screaming at it hating it you know you may need to take a break let me know what's going on with your project this week so until next time Take care, guys.